Hey everyone, it's me, Doomlink, and it is currently the 13th of June 2017 as I am talking to you right now. Um, I just woke up and a friend of mine on my Discord server who is quite interested in Japanese games, I don't know how much he's played of the Monster Hunter series, but he did tell me some really shocking news. And um, the reason why it's shocking, and you know what the news is because it's in the title of the video, you know what it what it's going to be, there's no need for me to actually mention what it is, but the reason why it is shocking is because I just wasn't really expecting it to come to pass. I was just kind of expecting a continual Nintendo uh, presence with Monster Hunter for forever, almost, you know, until maybe Sony came out with another handheld console that didn't, you know do a nose dive into the <laughs> into the ditch like the Vita did but even then I don't think the Vita nose dived because it was bad it was because I don't know it just came at the wrong time or I don't know but it just had problems and honestly Monster Hunter could have saved the Vita in Japan very easily but um they chose not to do that and by they I mean Capcom they decided to go the Nintendo route mainly because uh, they were having problems with Sony at the time, and I don't really know the uh, reasons why. I haven't really looked into the whole Capcom Sony thing, but they uh, they were definitely having problems with Sony, and thus moved away from Sony. The last um, Sony release that we've had with Monster Hunter was uh, a portable third, which was in 2011 or late 2010. What ended up happening there was that that, of course, never came to the West. Uh, no one, there was no one to really play it on PSP at that time, really, in the West, or at least not enough people to warrant an English release, and so it just never happened. But in the end, I suppose, for all the Monster Hunter fans, we got something a thousand times better, which was a uh, stream of releases in the form of Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate, Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, then Monster Hunter Generations. That was a, a triple kind of release within the space of a few years that kind of, I guess, took long time Monster Hunter fans by surprise because we never really had that before where we had so many um, innovative releases coming from uh, the Monster Hunter Capcom staff that were actually out in English. Um, I'm really fucking cold at the moment. Sorry if my voice is wavering at all. It's because I'm shivering, but um, yeah, it's a little bit cold over here at the moment. But um, what I'm talking about here is just my first impressions on a Monster Hunter being released on the PlayStation 4. My first impressions are it's about bloody time. Um, I'm astounded that it has taken so many years for this to happen. The last time a Monster Hunter was released on a stationary console uh, by Sony was in 2004, if you can believe that. Um, at the very least, released in English. I, I think Monster Hunter 2 Dose was released in, what, 2005, 2006? Which was also on PS2, but uh, that never made it to the West. Because it was, I don't know, I can't remember why. That was the uh, game that Shen Garden was introduced in. Same with uh, Kushala Daiora. But, um, yeah, the reason why I'm not absolutely jumping and so excited is because by this time, by 2017, and of course the game will be releasing in 2018, um, by this time, for me personally as a Monster Hunter player, I've kind of... Uh, hung up my sword, let's just say that in a more poetic way, why don't we? But, um, yeah, I'm not really playing Monster Hunter anymore. Even the games that I enjoy, I don't really play much anymore. Um, the last Monster Hunter game that I truly enjoyed was Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, which, to be fair, is the second last Monster Hunter that's been released as I'm talking right now, but I did enjoy that game, but uh, there were aspects to it that I certainly didn't enjoy, you know, things that were added in. I suppose when it comes to Monster Hunter, because I am a long-time player, um, because I started with uh, Freedom Unite, which was a very basic game compared to the the more recent releases, of course, but because I started with something so basic, um, these huge innovations are not really something that grabs my attention, and sometimes I see negative aspects in more things being added. Sometimes uh, adding in functionality and adding in 
depth can detract from the overall product. Uh, I would say that that's largely subjective, but still, that's how I feel about it. And of course, with a Monster Hunter being released on the PS4, we're looking at a graphical increase <laughs> in the general Monster Hunter visual appearance that hasn't been seen since Monster Hunter first uh, came onto the Wii U, which was pretty big, but even then that's not going to compare even remotely to what we're going to see on the PS4, which is going to be extremely good-looking, long story short. That's going to be a really amazing-looking game. And uh, that is apparent just from looking at the trailer, and I have seen the E3 trailer that came out very recently. Um, and by very recently, I believe it was put out like 30 minutes ago. <laughs> so <clears throat> it's very rare that I can actually be so up-to-date on my impressions, but uh, yeah, this is going to be a pretty... Um, this is a current update video, very much so. Um, I will be uploading this tomorrow on Wednesday. But, um, yeah, the question is, how do I feel about it? As you know, um, I've been wanting console Monster Hunters from the beginning. Or maybe you don't know that, maybe you don't know me at all, but I've always wanted Monster Hunter on consoles because, for me, that's where I can really just sit down, relax, and just pour hours into a game. Particularly when it's a Monster Hunter game. But because I have taken a step back from Monster Hunter for... Over three years now, I I find it difficult to really um, want to play a new Monster Hunter game, even if it's on PS4, which is extreme, because it was my dream that Monster Hunter would release on PS3 for the longest time. That was my dream, and I thought that with the Monster Hunter Portable 3rd HD, on which was ported to the PS3, I thought my dream had come true, but not really. It had only partially come true, and there was no real way to translate that version into English like you could with the PSP version, at least as far as I could tell. So that was a bit shit. Well, maybe I'm incorrect about that, but still. I really didn't want to play that game because it was a port. I wanted a true PS3 Monster Hunter, and I just kind of resigned myself to the the fact that that would never come to pass, but it seems that something even better has happened. It's released on PS4, which was... Uh, a big surprise, but it's coming. It is confirmed it's coming in early 2018. So we've got a bit over half a year, maybe, until that arrives on our doorstep, so to speak. And um, the question is, what am I going to do about it? Am I going to buy a PS4 just for Monster Hunter, like I have done for many other game consoles? I bought a PSP just so I could get Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. I got a 3DS XL a new one, like, you know, the new 3DS XL with the uh, directional nub. I got that just for Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. I got a Wii U when it was new and still expensive just for 3 Ultimate. I still don't own... Well, I only recently bought Zelda Wind Waker HD for Wii U, but until I bought that, which was literally this year, I think. Was it? No, it might have been last year. Very late last year. Can't remember now, but... uh no, it was probably this year that I bought Wind Waker HD. But anyway, for a long time, I only ever owned 4 Ultimate for the Wii U. So I only bought the Wii U when it was expensive just for... Oh, sorry, 3 Ultimate. Yeah, I bought it for 3 Ultimate, not 4 Ultimate. If only you could play that game on stationary console. Now, that would have been cool. But no, it was only on 3DS. But uh, I also bought Generations... Um, I will talk about Generations briefly because it is currently the most recent Monster Hunter that has, you know, come out in the West, and, um, well, just in general, it's the most recent Monster Hunter. And, uh, I mean, I played it for a little bit over a week. I completed the offline and got to, I guess, high rank. There was no G rank, I don't think, in uh, Generations, as far as I can recall. And I recall it very hazily because I, I kind of, I don't know, eliminated the game from my mind, but I think there was only high rank. So I got to high rank and I stopped there. Because I just, I lost the urge. Whether I got burnt out on the game, I don't know. But uh, in about a week, I had completed the offline and gotten to high rank. Uh, to the point where people were really surprised to see, like, what rank I was. They're like, well, how did you do it? How did you already get to this rank, you know? 
because I would uh, go into rooms with this high rank and people would be like, wow, how are, you, how are you there already? That was the level to which I was playing the game. I was uh, getting through it very quickly. I bought it on release. I did pre-order it. It was the... Uh, one one of the uh, well, it was the last game that I pre-ordered. Yeah, I didn't really pre-order anything else. I don't usually pre-order games, but I did pre-order that one. The last game that I pre-ordered before then was Dark Souls Two, but um, yeah, it was interesting because I really didn't feel that game. I didn't like the innovations. Well, I did like the innovations of it, but for some reason, it just it didn't grab me. I didn't want to play a game on a Monster Hunter game on 3DS anymore. It was giving me the shits like. That directional nub is not cool. I don't like it at all. It's crap. And um, I've talked about the negative aspects of having a Monster Hunter on the 3DS before. I've had many rant videos of it, but I haven't necessarily uploaded them because, I don't know, I just don't get around to it. Once I've, like, gotten it off my chest, sometimes I don't even want to listen back to myself anymore, But uh, so therefore it doesn't get uploaded. But ultimately, I wasn't a huge fan of Generations because it just... It didn't grab me, mainly because of what it was released on. But uh, at this point, we're looking at a Monster Hunter that is going to be released on a stationary console, one that I don't own, but I would buy it solely for Monster Hunter because I do have a tendency to do that for Monster Hunter. But um, it's on a stationary console, and it's going to look freaking amazing. But at this point, I wonder if I'm going to enjoy the experience of playing it. And I really need to take this into consideration if I'm going to buy a PlayStation 4 just to play a Monster Hunter game. Is this going to be a game that I'm going to enjoy playing? And the reason why I ask this question is because what level of innovation is going to occur with this game? Like, what are we going to see change in the Monster Hunter series? I feel like this is a recent trend almost. Um, possibly starting, but it could have started with other series that I'm not familiar with. You know, for instance, the Zelda series. Let's look at Breath of the Wild and see how much that innovated the um, Zelda series. I mean, this level of innovation is not going to be quite at the level of whatever this PS4 Monster Hunter is going to do for the Monster Hunter series, but it did set a precedent for long-running series. I mean, Monster Hunter is, isn't as old as the Zelda series, but it did set a precedent for things to change once it comes to a, a strong stationary console. But, um, and I would say the Nintendo Switch is rather powerful as a console, I would say. I don't know much about it, but I think it is kind of powerful. But maybe not even at the level of the PS4, I don't know. But, one thing I will say is that the level of innovation that is going to occur to the Monster Hunter series with this new PS4 game is kind of leaving me, uh, a bit uncomfortable. I don't know what they're going to change. There was already, like, I was already feeling a bit, um, disengaged with the changes that were made in Generations. I was feeling a little bit uh, like, I don't know about this. Uh, mounting was kind of a big thing in 4 Ultimate, but it was kind of, it wasn't a big deal. It, it didn't completely take over your gameplay. It did in a way because there were people who use insect glaives just to mount, you know, that's what they did. And it did change the gameplay quite a bit, but it didn't seem to influence it in a hugely negative way. It seemed like a a more of a subtle increase in dynamics kind of thing with the combat. It didn't feel like I was completely changing how I played. And uh, even if it, I could choose whether or not I wanted to change how I played anyway. I didn't have to use an insect glaive and I didn't have to try and mount monsters. But anyway, it didn't feel invasive when it came to my monster experience. But I, I was feeling a little bit unsure of the changes that were occurring in Generations. Um... It seemed a little bit, it, it was a bit over my head, you know, I'm a long-time player and I, I'm comfortable with what has been established to be the, the norm in Monster Hunter, and when something comes along and changes that, or at least makes lots of changes to that, I, I can't help but feel a bit uncomfortable, and um, I'm a bit worried with whatever is going to change in this uh, new PS4 game. Now, the reason why I have these concerns is because I did indeed watch the trailer, and I'm seeing... A little bit of a change to gameplay, I would say. Um, sneaking around monsters has become more of something that you do. I mean, you could indeed sneak a little bit with monsters in previous Monster Hunter games, but there, was, there wasn't really a benefit in doing that. 
And oftentimes, if you, if a monster comes into your zone, you're not going to be ready to sneak away from it in time. It's just going to see you and then, oh, hello, you're in combat anyway. So sneaking past monsters wasn't really like that much of a benefit in the previous Monster Hunter games. But at least I think so. I, I don't know. Maybe you could do it in generations. I've got no freaking idea. But basically, just from this trailer, they're kind of showing that you can legitimately sneak past monsters. Like it, it showed that monsters could, like, like a bunch of minions saw the hunter and he hid in a bush and they, the, the minions were looking around. You know, apparently dinosaurs don't have a sense of smell, which is a bit sad, but maybe, maybe the guy sprayed something on him. I've got no idea. I, I don't know how it works. It's just a trailer. I don't know the, uh, the specifics of it really. But he hid in a bush that was like right in front of them and they were looking around and then they ran away because they couldn't find him anymore. And so what that indicates to me is that even when a monster's seen you, you can hide from them, which also indicates, you know, in turn, that means that you will be like the sneaking function has been made very much a prevalent aspect of the gameplay. Because, you know, you don't even have to run out of the zone or remain in confrontation with a monster once it's seen you. You can just, I don't know, hide somehow. I'm not sure. Maybe you can't do that with uh, large monsters, but with small ones, at the very least, you can do that. Now, the other thing that I saw that was different was, you know, swinging from vines. You know, you can jump in the air and swing from vines. I mean, I don't know about that. Once again, adding too many dynamics to a game like this is just going to leave someone like me, who is a long-term player, a little bit um, unsure of how to feel about things, you know, because there is the classic Monster Hunter that I've always wanted to play, and honestly, I've always wanted to play the classic Monster Hunter on a stationary console like, say, the PlayStation 3 or PlayStation 4 or whatever, but I don't want to play some game that I almost can't even relate to anymore. Something that's just changed so much that I, like that old dream is just gone now because like the game's changed too much. And um, I mean, to be honest, it's just a trailer. It doesn't necessarily reflect exactly what the gameplay is going to be like. It's possibly just romanticizing the aspects of the game, like the adventurous, you know, walking through the jungle, uh, avoiding these carnivorous monsters. But um if it is in any way a reflection of the gameplay, then it's going to be pretty different. And uh, I don't really know what to expect other than something that's going to be different from what we've seen so far. I wouldn't say necessarily that it's going to bring about change and innovation that can be likened to that of Breath of the Wild for the Zelda series, but it's going to be change nonetheless. And I think that as I said before, Breath of the Wild has set a precedent that, yes, you can do that. You can make big changes to a series and get people interested still. I don't even... Honestly, I haven't really followed the Zelda series very much, even with Breath of the Wild. I mean, I have played the game and I do plan to continue playing it. I'm doing a Let's Play of it and that I haven't really been uploading, to be fair. But um, regarding the Zelda series, I don't think it's going to change forever. I, don't, I think this is just a one-off. But with this, this is going to be a constant evolution. With Monstanta, it's going to be... The game is just... Or the game series, rather, is just going to build on these changes. And I don't think they're going to get rid of them. This is kind of... Anything that we see in this PS4 Monstanta is not going to be a one-off. This is the game series evolving. And I'm worried that it's going to evolve, evolve into a game that I don't want to play anymore. Which is frightening because I, Monster Hunter has been the game series that I have spent the most hours playing out of any game series that I have ever engaged with, which is a fact. I, I played 2000 hours of Try, I played about a thousand hours of, um, Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate, I played, um, about 800 hours of 4 Ultimate, and, um, God knows how many hours on Freedom Unite, but, the point is, ultimately, that I have put a lot of hours into this uh, game series, and I just... I'm worried that it's going to turn into something that I don't want to play. It already has, <laughs> really. Uh, I don't want to play the games on portable systems anymore. I'm sick of it. I don't want to play a portable Monster Hunter. That's not what I want. But I kind of... I, I was content with the thought that it's just because it's on a... a uh, portable console that I don't want to play it. It's still a great series, but I just I don't want to do the whole portable console thing. 
But now that it's on a stationary console, I'm afraid that the entire game is just going to become something that I don't want to play anymore. It could just be silly speculation. It could just be me worrying about things that I don't need to worry about. But I think it's a legitimate concern, and it is going to have to be something that I put my finger to the pulse with, because I need to know exactly what I'm going to be buying a PS4 to play. I mean, because honestly, I... The reason why I want to get it, if it is going to be a game that I want to play, is because that'll be an opportunity for me to record Monster Hunter for you. Because I, I not like for Ultimate. <laughs> I mean, like F O R uh, Y O U. Yes, if I could spell, but um, yeah, for you guys, um, I want to record some online Monster Hunter like I do with um, Three Ultimate at the moment. And um, to be honest, Three Ultimate is not going to last forever. In terms of, well, it's definitely not not going to last forever in terms of the servers. They will disappear eventually, but as well as that, it's not going to work very well with my uh, online series forever because there aren't that many quests. I mean, there are, but I'm mostly going to be doing G-Rank quests, and there are a limited number of those. So, yeah, I don't know. But I suppose, realistically, we've got some pretty... We've had some pretty huge... uh Monster Hunter games lately, and I would say that this PS4 Monster Hunter is probably going to be pretty fucking big. I mean, if you look at it realistically, I mean, it's a pretty uh, solid game console for a Monster Hunter be, to be releasing on, so I think we're going to be seeing a pretty expansive Monster Hunter, easily to the level of Freedom Unite in terms of how many monsters there were. So, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what we do here. I feel like almost this was planned from the beginning. Let's look at Monster Hunter Generations. It's like a portable Monster Hunter that brings all of the previous Monster Hunters together and uh, puts them into one game in, in the f- way that you can, you know, travel to Dundorma or, you know, all these different places. And um, <laughs> what that says to me is that, okay, we are drawing to a close with this era of Monster Hunter and we've released the final game of that era. It is now time to move on to a new era of Monster Hunter, which is this PS4 one. And uh, I don't <laughs> that worries me. Because to me, yeah, Generations was a clear staple, almost like a clear finale to some kind of era of Monster Hunter. And I, I was kind of getting a feeling of that, but I didn't really think, yeah, this is definitely the case. But now that I'm seeing this new Monster Hunter, I'm thinking, yeah, that's what's happened here. Uh, generations is the end of an era, and now we're entering a new generation, so to speak. So, yeah, I don't know, but it's going to be interesting. I'm definitely not. Um, I'm not saying that I'm definitely not going to buy a new Monster Hunter at this point in the game's lifespan. I could, and I will definitely be watching Monster Hunter. I don't even. What's it called? Monster Hunter World. That's right. I haven't even been calling by it. Calling it by its name. It's Monster Hunter World. And, um, yeah, I'm going to be watching out for this game. I'm going to see whether or not this is a game that I want to play because I am going to seriously consider purchasing a PS4 just to play it, which kind of frightens me a little bit. But, you know, now that I am working and all of that, I mean, when I was last purchasing consoles, put it this way, it was a long time ago, I wasn't working at that time. Uh, I've been working for a while now, over a year, but still, uh, it's been a long time since I've bought a console, but now that I am working, yeah, consoles are totally within my price range and I can get them without a concern, but, you know, I want to make sure that I've got games to play on it and uh, I'm a bit worried about this because I feel like if I get a PS4, oh Christ, I'm going to have to play Bloodborne and I don't want to do that. I don't want to touch that shit. I mean, I'd, I'd do it just to piss myself off and kind of show you guys how pissed off I can get with that piece of shit game, but oh my god. Um, yeah. I mean, as I think about it, I, I worry about it, but you know, I mean, I'm a lot, I have a lot more contempt for the Soul series as it is now compared with the Monster Hunter series. As I've said, I mean, the Soul series has declined legitimately as a game series for me, but Monster Hunter is only really declining in the way that it's being released on shit systems, as far as I'm concerned. I mean, the fucking 3DS, you've got to be having a laugh, but, you know, what what a freaking console to be releasing on. I mean, I say console, it's a handheld console, but, you know, I mean, for such an amazing game series, releasing it on the 3DS is pretty insulting, but, uh, 
Anyway, that's about it for this video. It's not so much a rant, it's more of like a discussion with myself about what to expect with this new Monster Hunter and how I feel about things. It's it's definitely interesting, it's definitely exciting. Um, had it been announced when the PS4 released, I might have been more interested. You know, instead of Generations, if we had this, then I definitely would have been interested. But, um, you know, it's understandable that it has taken this long, to be honest, with Capcom, you know. <laughs> I mean, we know how Capcom are, but, uh, yeah, I think the fact that they ended up doing this in the first place is something somewhat commendable for those people. So, how about we not uh, give them a hard time for taking this long to get a Monster Hunter on a Sony stationary console? Uh, for the second time or third time or whatever. I'm talking about the West, so the second time, more or less. So, yeah, we will see. Uh, well, I will continue watching to see how this develops, and um, you may very well in 2018 see some videos of me playing that new Monster Hunter, and if not, then I will let you know with another update video like this. I will, As more information comes out about the game, I will discuss it. Oh, I probably won't, it won't be like, oh, an update video every week with every tiny amount of information about the game. I'll probably wait for maybe five months and then talk about it. I'll probably do another video like this shortly before it releases, kind of similarly to how I recorded a video just a few days before Breath of the Wild released. But, um, yeah, we will see, indeed, what happens with that. And uh, I will be watching very closely. So, until that time... You'll probably see another video like this in another five months. But, uh, yeah, I will see you guys then if you are wanting to <laughs> watch that video. And, um, yeah, I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.